But Kingpin from Daredevil, another thing that always kind of mystified me is I read one comic that said at one time he was responsible for every crime in New York City. See, which, that's, that's even, also too ambitious. Yeah. <laughs> Even for a comic book, that's a bit of a reach. That's, like every you're single person. planting the story where Kingpin did 9-11. <laughs> I'm, I'm planning to sit at the house. I'm planning to sit at the house in Kingpin Civil War Part Duh. Right? Like, yeah. my leg is broke. I'm out for Civil War to preseason. But I'm, I'm going to be watching the plays and helping out my team members, and I'll be strong and ready to fight in the spring season. Yeah, and yeah, we need someone on the tapes. Yeah, that's what you can do. Maybe in I'm this part, I'm back I'll at home. On the Bowflex. I'm back at home, and I'm I'm working the maps. I'm working the maps here with the crop. Yeah, for the listener, Elsa's got a riding crop, just sort of gesticulating wildly with, which I think is very cool. I would do that more in just in life if I think I could get away with it. Very cool yeah, well, accessory. This is for sex. Sure. But I have repurposed it just to point at things while I'm on the couch. Yeah. You can you can do that with sex stuff. It's you know yeah. there's no rules. There's no rules with it. I'm a grown ass adult. That's like when when you find out anything can be a weapon. Anything can be sex stuff if you turn it into sex stuff. If, this if bag of marbles sex stuff with enough lube. <laughs> we sh- yeah, exactly. you know what? We should repurpose sex stuff for when the next time we have to go face down the cops in the streets. Is we like throw a bunch of dildos and shit at them? They would throw hate dildos. That. At oh them? yeah, use yeah. dildos with the goo still on them. Well, the lube would probably yeah. actually help. Just with the, I'm not even joking anymore. The ground, you could fucking just you know squirt the lube <laughs> in front of a cop. Jake is just at the protest with gallons of lube, being like, "Get them over here! <laughs> yeah. Lead them then, to my lube just- trap." And I'm just whipping their ass with the fucking crop. You, you know could, what I'm saying? You could get the the ass of a horse cop horse. Yeah, get a horse, get a horse going. Yeah. They, oh, I'm trying to hit a micro <laughs> the, the the walkie-talkie, but there's dildos in my ears. <laughs> I can't hear the orders with the dildos. I'm too I'm too we're fucking horny. But taking but taking butt plugs. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I mean one tech tactic that uh i have used is and if there are any um police officers <laughs> listening just just pause or, or, or go for a walk for so this it's this like session. a children put the if you're w- listening with a police officer put your hand over the police officer's ears yeah. like a child in a bad movie they can't handle it yeah, yeah. but spitting is a uh, i think an underutilized method where you're at a, a big anti-police protest you're in you're in spinning distance you have like a thousand people how many fucking That's provocative yeah, how That's many ounces provocative. of spit is that? I can't even calculate. That's biological I mean, warfare right now. And especially now because of COVID, we could. How many spits do you think you can get? Even me? I mean, I got a I got a wet mouth, so I'm probably not. Uh, <laughs> we got to be out there I, I, eating like, I feel uh, like sour. I feel like I'm a sniper. Three spits in me solid, unless I'm using water. <laughs> 